a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. M. Jai Shainka M. Jai Shainka, nicknamed Psycho Shainka, was an Indian criminal notorious for a series of rapes and murders during 2008-2011. It is believed that he was involved in about 30 rape, murder, and robbery cases across Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, and Andhra Pradesh. At the time of his death, he had been accused of murdering at least 19 women. Having been apprehended by Indian authorities, Jai Shankar was imprisoned in Bangalore, where he was diagnosed as mentally ill. He subsequently committed suicide following an unsuccessful prison escape attempt in February 2018. Early Life Jai Shankar, a son of Mara Muchchu, came from the Kanayan Patti village of Salem district, Tamil Nadu. In May 2011, he was reported to be a married man with three daughters. He started his career as a truck driver. Criminal History Jai Shankar is believed to have started his rape and murder spree around 2008. His first crime to be reported happened on 3 July 2009, when he attempted to rape and murder 45-year-old P. Shyamala in Parandu Alley. By August 2009, he had raped and murdered 12 women, and raped another six women. He always carried a black handbag with him. He kept a machete in this bag, and killed whoever resisted him. He used to kidnap sex workers near dabbers on highways, rape them and kill them brutally. He also targeted women in farmhouses, in rural areas. First Arrest, 2009 On 23 August 2009, Jai Shankar raped and murdered a 39-year-old police constable. M. Jayamani, originally stationed at the Kanki Amal Women Police Station, Jayamani was on temporary duty at Perumana Law during the visit of Deputy Chief Minister M. K. Stalin. Jai Shankar kidnapped her and raped her several times before killing her. The police recovered Jayamani's body a month later. On 19 September, Jai Shankar and his accomplice P. Mohan Selvam were charged with the murder of 50-year-old K. Thang Gamal Ponaya in Namakal on 10 September 2009. The Tiripur police launched a manhunt for Jai Shankar and arrested him on 19 October 2009. He was jailed at the Coembito Central Prison. By this time, he had been charged with 13 separate counts of rape and murder in Tirupur, Salem, and Dharmapuri. He revealed, while remanded in custody, that he enjoyed torturing women before he raped and killed them. First Escape, 2011 On 17 March 2011, the police took Jai Shankar to a fast-track court in Dharmapuri, for a murder case trial. The next day, Armed Reserve Police Constables M. Chinasamy and Raj Avalu were assigned to escort him back to Coimbatore. On the way, Jai Shankar managed to escape at the Salem bus stand around 9.30 p.m. On 19 March, Chinasamy shot himself. 2011 Murder Spree in Bellary Jai Shankar escaped to Karnataka, where he raped and murdered six women in Bellary over the next month. He also killed a man and a child in Dharmapuri. In the last week of April 2011, the police traced his mobile phone to Delhi. The police initially believed that he had discarded his mobile phone in Delhi. However, in May 2011, the police traced his mobile calls to Mumbai. But he stopped using his mobile phone. A special team, comprising two sub-inspectors and 15 other police personnel, was assigned to find and arrest him. Second Arrest 2011. By May 2011, the police had put up wanted posters seeking information about Jai Shankar in public places across Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. On the night of the 4th of May 2011, Jai Shankar reached a Lajai village in Karnataka on a stolen motorcycle. He approached a woman, Chandra Kala Hotagai, who was working alone in a field, and asked her for water and food. He then tried to rape her. But Chandra Kala raised the alarm. Her husband Prakash Hotaka and a friend came to her rescue. Jai Shankar tried to flee, but was caught by Prakash and other villagers. The locals brought him to the Zalaki police station. He was handed over to the Chitradurga police on 5 May 2011. Second Escape, 2013 
After his 2011 arrest, Jai Shankar was kept at the Parapanaragrahara Central Jail in Bangalore. He was sentenced to 27 years in prison at the Bangalore Jail. He underwent treatment for psychiatric problems. On 31 August 2013, the police took Jai Shankar to the court in Tumkor near Bangalore. After returning, Jai Shankar feigned uneasiness and was admitted to the hospital within the prison premises. He managed to secure a duplicate key and used it at 2 a.m. on 1 September 2013, when the daily change of guards took place. The police suspected that an insider helped him get the duplicate key. He scaled a 20-foot wall, then walked atop a 15-foot wall, and finally scaled the 30-foot high compound wall. He managed to cross the electric fence safely, since it was not functional that night. He reportedly carried with him a bamboo pole balancing on the walls and a bedsheet to serve as a cushion over the glass pieces on the wall top. He was injured during the escape, and drops of blood were found outside the outer wall. He was reportedly wearing a police uniform. During his escape, 11 jail staff, including three wardens, two jailers and six security guards, were suspended following his escape to reprimand them for allowing the escape. The police issued a red alert to all police stations in Karnataka, and urged women to be careful in isolated places. They announced a reward of 500,000 for any information leading to his arrest. They also analyzed his psychology and life history, to predict his next actions. Besides this, the police printed 10,000 wanted posters and 75,000 pamphlets, with different photographic profiles of Jai Shainka, in five languages. Hindi, Kannada, Marathi, Tamil, and Telugu. Besides Karnataka, these posters and pamphlets were distributed across Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, and Maharashtra. Third Arrest, 2013 During his escape, Jai Shankar had fractured his leg while jumping from the 30-feet wall of the prison compound. He did not contact his family in Tamil Nadu. Soon after his escape, a police informant managed to get in touch with him. The informant lured him to a dilapidated building near the Kudlu Gate in Bangalore, with the promise of a motorbike to facilitate his escape outside the city. There, the police arrested Jai Shainka, on the noon of 6 September 2013. The government spent over 75,000 treating his fractured leg, at the Victoria Hospital, where he was operated on, on 23 September. The surgery on his leg having been completed, Jai Shankar was sent to Central Prison, Bangalore to begin serving his sentence. He was kept in a high-security cell, with 24-7 CCTV monitoring and extra lights. The lock of his cell was designed to be out of his reach. It was decided that in case of an illness, he would be treated inside his cell. The police also decided to deploy extra security while escorting him to trials to minimize the likelihood of an escape death. On 25 February 2018, Jai Shankar unsuccessfully tried to orchestrate another escape from the Bangalore Central Prison. After this plot failed, he was held in solitary confinement. Subsequently, on 27 February, he committed suicide by slitting his own throat with a shaving blade, which he had acquired from a barber the day before. The jail staff found him lying in a pool of blood at around 2.30 am during their daily rounds and provided him first aid. He was later moved to Victoria Hospital, where he was declared dead at 5.10 a.m. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?